Hi everyone, uh, in today's video I'm going to explain to you the difference between sum formula and subtotal formula and sum if formula. Sum formula, this normal formula that everyone use, uh, using everywhere in school, work, however there is a downside of using this formula that it can only get you the total of uh, a whole column or a whole row or cells that you specify. However, if you are applying any filter, it will still give you the total for the whole data uh, uh, that you have. So let's start with the subtotal, uh, the sub for, uh, sum formula. Let's get the total here. There is a shortcut uh, to uh, write the sum formula here. You will stand at the down uh, at the bottom of your data that has uh, the numbers that you need to sum it up. Uh, you will click from the keyboard on Alt and Plus and it will write the sum formula and it will highlight the reference, the cell reference that you want to get the total for. You will press enter, that's our total here. However, if we are applying any filter here, as you can see, let's say, uh, let's say we will apply the filter for the average, click OK. Let's uh, let's just keep this total tick uh, visible here also. So we, you can see here the total is still coming 107 million. However, to fix this issue, that's why we can use the subtotal formula because this it can get the total of the visible cells only. So let's write the formula here. I'll just remove the filter, go down equal subtotal number nine to get the sum or the total of the uh, cells and we'll select the range that we need to get the total for and press enter this is our total here now if we are activating the filter let's uh, say we will select the gross filter i'll press ok so the, we will get the total only for these visible cells here. Okay, 12 million 996. Uh, this how, uh, that's how you are using the subtotal. Now for the sum if formula, it's very similar. And uh, however, it's, uh, it's a good, it has a good advantage if you are dealing with a lot of data and you want only to get a total of a specific cell that it has some condition. So the formula it's uh, consists of three parts. The first part is the range where your criteria is sitting at. And so that's a criteria. It can be anywhere in the range D6 to D21. And second part, it's asking you which uh, word or which criteria that you are searching for. So in this case, uh, I put the criteria here in uh, range L6. Okay, so in this case, that will be gross. The third part of the formula, it's asking you what is the range that it has the values that you need to uh, sum it up. So uh, in this case, that will be the range E6 to E21. Let's fix the criteria range and the sum range by pressing F4 from the keyboard to, uh, so we'll be able to duplicate the same formula for the next cell. Uh, to get the same result of the sub uh, or of, uh, the sum if formula that's how you are getting the total for uh, based on a criteria and this can help you uh, anywhere like if you have a lot of data and you want only to get uh, to get a total for a single criteria so some if this will be the best solution for uh, for this case i hope you enjoyed the video please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive uh, the new videos that will come up soon. Thank you so much.